Compact Membrane Systems prides itself on being a leader in the field of difficult chemical separations. Our proven membrane technology is chemically resistant and its modular design allows systems to fit into a variety of spaces. Today, we are going to take a look at one of our solvent dehydration systems in action with the help of our R&D technologist, Robin. CMS membranes can be used with a variety of systems including alcohols, toluenes, THF, ethyl acetate, ionic liquid, and more. Our systems can also handle APIs with diameters less than 2 microns. Today, we are going to be drying an IPA water mixture. Robin is placing one of our 2-inch membranes in its steel housing into the system. This system is a batch recirculation, but our membranes can also be used in continuous systems. The retentate side, seen here under the module, is where the solvent stays, while water moves through the membrane and is pulled out of the permeate side at the top. The system is monitored by pressure and temperature gauges at each of the module ports. The whole system is then insulated to mitigate heat loss in the system as temperature directly affects the separation rate. After a new module is installed, the system is pressure tested to ensure the module and fittings are leak free. The feed sample is weighed before it is placed into the system. Once the system is filled with the IPA water mixture, it is left to heat until it reaches the desired temperature. The membrane is bypassed during this procedure so no separation occurs at this time. Once the system reaches the desired temperature, the solution is fed to the membrane. The tank level is measured using the sight glass shown here and separation begins. A sample is taken at the beginning of the run to determine initial water loading as well as at specific intervals throughout the run. Pressure, temperature, level, and water loading data is entered into the software to monitor the progress of the separation. The system is run either until the desired dehydration or separation is complete or an allotted time has been reached. The Carl Fischer instrument is used to determine water content. Samples are measured three times to determine the accuracy of the measurements. If the water content is high and out of range of the Carl Fischer's abilities, density measurements are used to determine water content. Samples can be retained and or sent out for third-party measurement verification. At the end of the run, the system is drained and the permeate and retentate samples are weighed. The system is finally purged with nitrogen to prevent stagnant liquid from causing damage to the membrane. Brought to you by Compact Membrane Systems, the tough chemical separation experts. Contact us to find out if membranes are the solution to your difficult separation.